among the things that we think about a lot, you know, are, are make sure that you're always punching up. We want to be absurdist. We don't want to be mean. Nowadays, we want to laugh with everybody, not at people. You know, it's it's basically you can be funny and still be decent. Wow, some, dude. Some things we did did not age well, and we're not doing that. You stupid bastard. Hello, beta testers. In my last video, I said that politically correct gangbangers is as ignorant a pursuit as a G-rated slasher. The developers say verbatim that they don't want to be mean. They vow only to punch up and want to laugh with everyone, not at people. This is Saints Row in its DNA. When I interviewed, the minute I saw it, I'm like, that's Saints Row right there. That's it. Yet, paradoxically, New Saints Row simultaneously lacks edge and curves. They want to be inclusive so bad, yet exclude jokes because they're too mean. Exclude female variety from their customization showcase. Here's a joke. From what you've shown, you'd have an easier time making Jordan Peterson and women that appeal to his type than you would the Sports Illustrated model because breasts and jiggle physics are evil to these woke developers. Comedy can be kind, but it shouldn't be the only kind. People used to and still do opt in to comedic experiences with unapologetic people that may quote, tell it like it is or push the envelope. You may have had a friend maybe once in your life that went a little too far. You couldn't put that in a TV show, but a video game? When people opt in to purchase these narrative experiences, they assume with that M fucking sticker on the label that these may be realistic explorations of mature themes. Not just writers packing in as much profanity as they can because saying bad words is the extent or extreme of what bad is in their limited experience. I think everyone should be laughed at. I think everyone should learn to laugh at themselves so that people don't become so up their own ass or soft that a joke can make them want to instantly get violent and go slap Chris Rock. Are your PG gangsters supposed to be lovable? Is the crime they commit to be framed as okay because of their situation? Or is crime maybe bad? Uh, is it? Is it? Oh, they're in debt, so that makes it okay. You better not laugh at them. That's is that punching down? Or maybe when you frame your narrative from the perspective of gangbangers, they deserve to be laughed at. We shouldn't want to be or or laugh with criminals, right? The studio makes it seem like old saints had kids in it, and the game would let you reenact Columbine or something. But in reality. It was just a game that had titties and floppy dongs and it was about hoodlums who would just as easily shoot someone as they would smoke a blunt. Despite developers constantly asserting that this game really make you feel like Saints Row, fundamentally, it isn't. It's inoffensive, it's E for everyone, and you're trying to make it that. It's, it's particularly offensive when you're dismissing and lumping people into categories uh, as if their frustration isn't justified. Um, and, you know, there'll be people who hate it, you know, just to hate it. Um, and, you know, every I was I don't know why I was reading the comments, but I was reading the comments <laughs> and, uh, you know, hating it just to hate it. You don't know why you were looking at the comments. It's like. Feedback doesn't exist for you unless it's strictly positive. That's how you end up with a bucket of shit. Like what you're fucking making. Watch your mouth with these consumers. They're smarter than you think these days. You know, somebody will come in with something and they'll pitch something out and you'll be on the floor laughing because it's just the funniest thing in the universe. But is that appropriate for this setting? Is that appropriate for this mission? Like, is that too far? Like, you know, you literally sound like the censor, like no. you're editing the fun mm, out. I think we can do without the crack pipe. It's my job to protect you from reality. Quite frankly, I believe your game has performance issues that will lead to another delay that will be immediately apparent the second you make this available for people to play. Why can't you throw people a bone? 
and just assuring them that this isn't going to be as cringe as it looks, because it looks bad. Assure them that they'll be able to customize their character and that it won't be more limited than it was in the past, because it's looking like that. You know, why are you so scared? Women are bad? If your game can't handle women? Jesus Christ. If I come off as ferocious towards these devs, I apologize, but I am offended by hypocrisy and consider equality a balanced scale, not one tipping in the opposite favor. I'm disgusted by developers who would say I don't know why I read the comment section before their game even launches. And I know these people would celebrate the freedom, bravery, and right to choose for a man in drag, but breasts like this would be considered too crass for a woman in their mature game. You're not just pussies developers, you're hypocrites. Keep contradicting yourself and remember that trans women, cis women, lesbians, gay men, drag queens, cis men, you name it, would love to have created a big titty waifu with their dreams to have a connection with and maybe secure you some fans and future purchases. I said this in the last video and I'll say it again. The superior iteration of your studio created something pleasing enough that fans contributed towards a lucrative trilogy plus. A statue so tall, Volition, that you can sell real estate in its shadow and your crotchety out of touch gambit is to piss everybody off with clearly confused takes on a world you're a fucking stranger to. Please remember what it was like to be young. Take a risk and make something edgy. Write a Cartman. Write a Bojack. Characters don't climb into people's hearts for being politically correct. Chasing this E for everyone Fortnite rating and shaving the edges off of this property has made it objectively worse than it was before. And I'm honestly eager to see where it goes from here. How you market it, so to speak. Or rather, how you hide what you need to hide before it's time to ship this. Probably too early. Love everybody. Thank you for taking the time to listen. Do you? I'm going to leave some clips here just to just to leave it. Just to fill it on out. Yeah, fill it so on out. Biting into it just like a stick of digital right butter. Now. That's that's supposed to be a hot dog. I think they they allowed this woman a certain amount of polygons. And, and I think they should have spent them on the hot dog. But the weird part really is, need some me time. it's really, we're really meant to believe that she's like eating a bunch of hot dogs, but why then are they on the ground? <gasps> Holy shit. <gasps> Officer, god damn, that's bad. Hey, you gonna shoot what, this bitch? Fucking creep? Oh. I'll show you police brutality. <laughs> oh my god, you shot her again. And at, right after he said, I'll show you police what the hell just happened? He Poor fucking hot dog girl. He killed a minority and then vanished. That's just like the real world. Yeah, I think <laughs> exactly like the simulation. <laughs>